now we can exit out of these and we're going to use we're going to do one more um, location one more tool based server and it's called bio extract server this is probably one of my favorite if you haven't done so register by clicking the register section take a minute here um, that way we can save workflows I'll show you how to do that I'm just going to sign in quick Once, you, once you've signed in, go to the Workflows tab, and on the left at the top, Create and Import Workflows. And this will allow us to save workflows for later usage. You can share them as a group. So yeah, just click Record Workflow. And now everything that you do from here on until you hit Save will, um, will be recorded. Go to the Query tab, and we're going to search FXN again. So in the first section, select Gene. Excuse me. Select um, NCBI proteins. There we go. Now select Gene and FXN. And then we're going to add one more search line to narrow it down a little bit more. And in this one, define species and human. And then let's search our query. And for this bioextract server, we'll pull them all up right in the extracts page. And we can use these files directly from this page without having to save all the data. So here's our, our query. We're going to pick a couple of these. We're going to narrow it down. You could view the record and have all the details about the gene, similar to EBI, NCBI, Ensemble. We could, so let's let's go to um, select, and we will check box the one that we would like to keep, and we'll keep only selected records. Narrow it down a little bit more. And we could export this file if we'd like. We could save it on our own drive, use it in Jalview, um, if we didn't like using the tools from a bioextract server, but personally I do. That's right here. Now we will go to the Tools tab and use this, this query in some of our tools. It'll take a little bit to load. There's quite a few tools available through bioextract server. Go to uh, Similarity Search Tools and BLAST-P. We'll make sure that that um, extracts in FASTA format is selected. And then we're going to go down and we're going to select only from the Swiss Protein Data Bank. And then you can execute the tool again. And our results will show up in the extracts page this time. Now we can just head over to the extracts page and view our results. So these are the sequences similar to the FXN human for taxon that we selected earlier. So we're going to narrow them down. These are a few species, as noted on the right-hand side of the description. And keep only selected. And now we can go align these, these sequences if we like. We'll go back to the tool section. It'll take a minute to load. Once it's done loading, now we'll go to the alignment tools and select cluster all, all W. Again, use from extracts page, FASTA format. Make sure that protein is selected there. And execute your tool. And this will line up our uh, sequences that we've just found using BLASTP. And we can view view our results. 
Here we go. There it is. Sequence alignment. And now I'll show you how that workflows works. Go to the create and import workflows. And now we'll name our workflow and save it. And then in the future, we can use these or share these with groups on the groups tab there, if you'd like. Um, we can also run this workflow and it'll obtain all the results that we had previously retained, but you won't have to go back and do each step and open each tab. It'll do it automatically. You can obtain all the information you obtained before, which is very nice. So we can click it. It's on the left-hand side there. And there you have it. There's BioExtract Server.